Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the backyard. Uh, we were originally going to play The Last of Us tonight. I had that on my schedule for the week. However, we finished the game out last night, including the bonus content. So, uh, seemed like a good opportunity to play a little bit more grounded. Dig back into the backyard. I am actually on the public beta branch right now. Uh, or like the public test servers or what have you. Uh, where they have the super duper update. Uh, available to play now. It's uh, probably gonna get some tweaks and stuff before it actually goes live in the core part of the game. Uh, but they've added wasp into the yard. There's some new stuff to like decorate our bases and things. Uh, new roofing pieces and stuff that I think I saw. Uh, chimneys and that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, some other little tweaks and changes to the way you get into your settings. I think you can set up like profiles for your uh, for your mutations and that kind of thing. I thought it'd be fun to just jump in here and play around with some of that stuff while we're going after the termites today. But welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very much for the support. And especially thanks to our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. We're gonna pop in here and continue our game with Bubba Bones out on our little lily pad base. Uh, last time we played, it was, it's been a hot minute, so you might not remember where we were last time. Uh, we had just gone up into the upper yard a little bit. We got some of them hot coals and such. What do we got here? Coziness level one of achieved. So we got fireplace hearth, fireplace chimney, fireplace vent. Oh, so sweet. Fireplace stuff. Dry grass partition. We already had grass partitions. I don't know why we need another one, but... So it looks like there's uh, some sort of an effect by having a cozy base. Coziness hunger rate. The calm comfort of your base slows in your hunger drain. Oh, that's cool. So I guess depending on the comfort level we achieve, we'll get a different level of a buff associated with that, which is kind of cool. Chris with the uh, nine-month member renewal. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate the support. Welcome back to Derpy Fox. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, what do we got building-wise we can make in here? So, I think it's all cosmetic things they added in. Side table we already have. But we've got all these uh, these fireplace vents and chimneys and such. I love the fact there's a hearth now. Ooh, it's big, too. Uh, this is not exactly an indoor base, but maybe we can put a hearth here somewhere just to... Make it look a little bit more homely. Homey? Homely? Maybe not homely is the right word. <laughs> Maybe homey. That might be the word we're looking for. Okay, hold on. How do I... There we go. God. Uh, oh, I'm one play chunk short. Oh, that's cool looking. I like that. That's pretty sweet. What do we got in here? Firefly, Hanging Lantern. Uh, I think we already had that, right? What else is in here? We got this uh, dry grass partition, but I'm pretty sure I already had one of those. A vase or a vase, depending on what you prefer. There's variants in here, so we have different shaped ones. Uh, there must be some more things that I don't have unlocked yet. I guess based on some of the stuff we'll find in the game, we might get some more things unlocked, which is kind of cool. Oh, they did corner stairs, so they have these in here now. So instead of just the straight ones, we can now do corners, and they got they have both uh, interior and exterior corners, and it looks like there's like half height ones too. So that's good. What else is in here? What about building pieces? What can we do building piece-wise? Nothing. <laughs> well, nothing new anyway. There might actually be some stuff I haven't unlocked yet for that. Uh, we have all our decorative head-mounted things. That's not new. All the stuffed bugs and such. Stuffed water boatman. Oh, I do know that there's a gnat you can take. So when you tame the gnat now, you can actually take control of the gnat. And then use that for building. So you can like fly up to like higher areas where you would normally have a hard time doing it without building some kind of scaffolding. And you can use the gnat to set up the blueprints and then uh, do the building and stuff for you too, which is kind of cool. That'll make uh, that'll make uh, building and such a little bit more interesting, won't it? Uh, all right, we have a bunch of salt globs. I have a feeling I got those because I wanted to make this trident into a salt business trident. We'll see how this... Yeah, that's what it was. Because we're going to go play with the uh, play with the termites tonight. And the termites are susceptible to salty stuff. So we'll get them with a good old salty business. Uh, I wonder if the... I, bone trident is probably the best thing I have to put the salt on. Let me just double check. I think they're susceptible to both stabby things and salty things. So we'll spot check that before I stick that on there, though. Termite soldiers. Stabbing salty. Stabbing salty. Antlines are slashing slashing salty, but that's all right. All right, stabbing salty it is. So I guess we'll go with uh, we'll go with the trident. Because I don't think I have any other spear that's going to be better than this that I can craft in terms of a damage output. The stinger spear 
It's got lower damage, I think. One and a half there. Where's the trident down here? Ooh, oh, oh yes, they also changed the turret around. So now when you build the turret, it's like an acorn turret. Uh, you don't have to build separate ones anymore. Now you can build one turret and you just load it with different types of ammo, including burning rounds that explode on the ground. Um, you can shoot sticky rounds that like are good for knocking flying insects out of the air. And then there's like the regular pebblet ones. Um, pointy rounds, which I guess are just sharp little projectiles. The soul needles we can fire out. That's cool. The sappy rounds are those sticky ones, I was saying. So that's cool. Pollen arrows. Arrow laced with pollen. Perfect for bringing down pesky flying critters. Oh, there's actual arrows that do that too now. Wow. So the effect of this thing is flyer stun and then the negative movement speed. So you would use these to shoot the... Uh, shoot the mosquitoes, for example, and bring them down to the ground so we can just wail on them with another weapon. That's cool. That almost be that might be a little bit broken actually. <laughs> if we could just use those all the time, that would be uh that'd be cool. Uh where's my trident? Must be blind. It's down with like the water stuff. There it is, bone trident. So bone trident and that bee spear are really, really similar, so I guess I'll just keep the bone trident. Pointy rounds oxymoron much? Yeah. Yeah. It's not spears, they're pointy bits. It's almost like shooting flechettes or whatever. That's kind of cool. I like that idea. Um, I should maybe dig up some more clay from down below before we go out so that I can finish off that uh, chimney thing we made. Uh, but I'm going to turn this into a salty a salty trident. Um, bloop. You're like so salty. Good job. Oh, wow. Ten salt clubs for the next upgrade. Wow. That's a lot of salt. I don't know how much salt I actually got. Oh, I got a fair amount of salt. All right. There we go. Make more of those. Uh, where's my dive armor? Let's swap this out. What kind of conditions this in? It's a little hurt. I don't know what. So there's that white box in the lower right, down by where my shield is, and I'm not sure what that's covering over. <laughs> is that something they don't want me to see just yet, or is that a bug of some sort? Hey, Shadow Chadwood, how you doing? I'm good myself, thank you for asking. Uh, I didn't bring a light with me and it's getting dark. This is foolish. Maybe I'll try to sleep and make it daytime or something. If it'll let me sleep. Let me sleep! I can't. Can't sleep till 1800. Oh, I'm close. We're close. So many bugs in this game. Neener. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Between this game and, uh... In small land, there's uh, there's no lack of bugs to be dealt with, that's for sure. Indeedly do. Uh, the wasps they added to the game are apparently in the uh, the compost bin, which is back here, I think, in the upper yard. Or over here somewhere. Somewhere in this general area. We won't get to those today, because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be tough enough to deal with wasps just yet. I'm a little bit soft and squishy, and I don't like that. I can go there. Uh, did I have a lantern? So I got super stink sack on me. I should put that away if I can. How do I put things in the chest again? <laughs> got hot the pot? No. N? Is it N? Yeah, N. That's what it is. Okay, super stink sack. I don't, I don't really need this. We can leave that behind. Analyzed. It's been analyzed. Uh, I probably should have some repair glue on me because I'm going to need that. I apparently haven't analyzed this cookie. I did it all for the cookie. The cookie. So you can take that nookie. I need a couple more sturdy whetstones. Sturdy... Those are brittle. Sturdy whetstones. Craft many. There we go. I hope they add some of the, uh, some of the inventory management things they have in this into games like Small Land. I did see they did an update. I, I didn't actually read the patch notes yet, so I'm not sure what it includes. But, they have some of that cool stuff going on. That'd be awesome. Wait a minute. Do I have a dandelion tuft on me? Oh. I don't. There we go. That's better. 
Not sure why that was unequipped. And I have no chest armor on. Why don't I have any chest armor on? Oh, interesting. So when I did the swap, it actually did a full swap. I thought it would only swap out the pieces I had, but it it took it all. Good to know. All right, let's make it daytime. Sleep till morning. Did I see your super chat? No, you sent a super chat. I'm sorry. Actually, with super chat, Reapers here demands food means you starved me. Uh, I didn't starve you. Uh, don't worry. We're gonna be messing around with with uh, termites tonight, and they do have a tendency to kill me a little bit. So. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it may be, may be what they might call a painful evening. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I need five. What? Ah, oh, I ran out of salt. I'm one salt short. Dang it! I might have to go over to the picnic table. I can get some from the tape from the thing that's up there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna head down. We'll get the clay I need for this chimney thing. I apparently don't have any food either. That's. That's probably something I should take care of also. Come here, tadpoles. Kill you and season you at the same time. If I can actually hit you. Come back here. That's yeah, better. You discovered tadpole jerky? It turned it into jerky because I killed him with a salt weapon. Interesting. That's actually not quite what I wanted. Well, so much for that. Well, I have food. I don't know how much the jerky actually gives me in terms of food quality. Well, you have to eat a lot of jerky to get a decent amount of food in you. That's less than optimal. Um, but I don't have a, I don't have a better underwater weapon. I guess I could use the, uh, I could use the bone knife maybe. I'd rather roast them because they, uh, they get better food value plus the healing you get off of them when you have roasted meat. As opposed to the jerky. Jerky doesn't do any healing. Magger you. I'm not done murdering you. Cryptic Fox is, and none of us want to see it. What's this now? The salt is real. Applying short supply, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. So I knew that the, uh... I knew the spicy weapons or whatever would cook things when you killed them, but it didn't occur to me that uh, using the salty weapon would actually turn them into into jerky. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I gotta find clay down here. It feels abnormally dark. I don't like it. Here's clay. Boom, boom, boom. Give me clay! Put salt on my knife, stab a cow, jerky. That's right. <laughs> it wouldn't be very flavorful jerky, though, if I'll use the salt, but... You know, it would be, uh, salted meat, I guess. Definitely not the most flavorful. Why is the shovel doing such a terrible job of digging? Did they nerf my shovel? What's going on here? I thought this thing would be better than this. Dig! You got some muscle sprouts while you're down there if you need them. I'll go take a look, yeah. Come here, you. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get assaulted. Yeah, that's right. Right, salted spider. Suck it, you jerk. Uh, apparently, the um, with the growth beds now, you can also grow uh, muscle sprouts. I don't know if you need like anything special to do it, but um, in addition to uh, in addition to getting the muscle sprouts down here, we should be able to plant them topside and grow them up there too now, which is exciting because it'll save like having to come down here all the time. It would be utterly delicious. <laughs> Have you played with Colt any? Uh, who's Colt? 
Is, is that a like another YouTuber or is that like a, a character you're referencing? I'm not familiar with a cult. Diggy diggy. I swear this shovel is not digging as good as it used to. I don't know what's going on with that. This is the black ant shovel, right? Yeah. I don't get it. It feels nerfed somehow. Shovel looks slow, slow now. Well, I'm underwater too, but it, it seems like it's taking a lot more hits to like break up the clay. I haven't played in a little bit, so it could be that I'm just... I'm not thinking about it correctly, but it does feel slower. I thought it was like three hits before and it would dig stuff up, and now it's taking like six. Yeah, that was six. Crazy. That's crazy. 45 seconds to go. Uh, where's my... Find an easy way in here. I thought there was a like an entrance over here somewhere. So, we'll go take a look for the um, for the muscle sprouts and see if they're ever grown. Assuming I survive, I got 21 seconds. <laughs> I might be cutting this a little bit on the close side. I'm gonna die. This is good. All right, I better surface. Oh, I'm not even gonna make it to the surface. Oh, come on! I'm so dead. <laughs> I was like, I got time. I didn't have a time. Air schmear. I'm a skeleton for crying out loud. Oh, crap. So, for the record, <laughs> my, uh, my respawn point is set over here in the sandbox still, apparently. You're welcome, Ashley. There's your uh, there's your first death of the stream. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. I mean, I can believe it, but I I thought I had more time than that. I don't know why I thought the entrance was closer. Poor bones. He died of suffocation in the lungs he doesn't even have. Actually, there might be salt here I can get too on the way by. I did say I was going to have to come over here anyway, so I guess uh, this was all part of the plan. It, it, this wasn't a mistake. This was part of the plan. <laughs> there should be salt in this plate over here. Uh, Where's all the salt? <laughs> There's normally some in here. Uh-oh. Check the other plate. Twelve hours later, we don't even get to the uh, the termites. <laughs> we can bring back some hot dog, I guess. No salt here. Oh, you know what? I can bring back slivers. Uh, I do have the fancy termite axe, so I can get these. Give me all them things. Wood splinters. Oh, what tape is this one? <laughs> seventh master of a seventh puppet metal mix. Ye old master of puppets. <laughs> okay. Where's the salt? There's al there's always salt over here. What is going on? Oh man, am I gonna have to muck around in the uh in the sandbox again trying to get salt? That sucks. Check this plate before we go. Be yourself. There's no salt here either. They got a spork, but then no, no salt. All right. Well, that sucks. No, oh, under attack. Red detected. Whoa, there's long range for that sucker. Where are you? Oh, 
Ow, gross. Come on. Bring it. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Eat it, sucker. Oh, God. No, oh, oh, God. Oh, we fell. Well, everything's going perfectly to plan tonight. Hey, there's play over here. Oh, they still got the bee thing up there. Even though I'm down here. Is it still attacking me? Seems like it's left me alone, but it's still got the combat music and its health's going down. It's fighting something. That's weird. Alright. Well, look at that. Okay, so it must be that I was digging with the shovel underwater, because above ground it's three hits and I got the clay. I'd always find salt in the ground, I'm most likely guaranteed to get salty, yeah. <laughs> There's usually some on the on the uh, the paper plates up there, I don't know why there isn't any this time, but... I'm still got combat music going on, and I'm really hurt. Why am I so hurt? That bee, like, kicked my butt or something. Um, let's zoom. Probably set that down here for healing. Bandages, too. Wow, that stuff gave me, like, no healing. What the heck? Oh, questionable slop. Oh, it's not beefy slop. That's why. Just chug a bunch of questionable slop. I'm sure it's fine. It's only quasi-questionable. Not hurt enough. One more hit. Yeah. <laughs> Good job defeating Millennia, I just saw the video. How long did it take? Oh man. So I didn't count the number of deaths, but it's probably a good thing I didn't because it was a it was an absurd number. It took me a bit to kind of get, I was still trying to fight her with my armor on initially um, and I couldn't seem to get the, the, the dodging down right. And then I realized if I ditched my armor, I'd be lightweight and I could roll a little bit farther and one of the hits that was consistently getting me, I was able to get clear of. And then I had to figure out, like, mastering phase two. It, it took a while. It was it was kind of a disturbing amount of time, honestly. But I was stubborn. <laughs> I debated uh, trying to beat her without um, summoning the Mimic, too. But by the point, time I got her down that low, I was like, okay, I'm not chancing it. I'm just going to get the win. Greatest boss I never wanted to see again. It's a good fight. Like, it's, uh... The hard part I found was there's a couple of attacks she has that, like, are instant death if she gets me with them. So, I couldn't afford to make mistakes on those. I could get hit other times and it was okay, but... Certain attacks, uh, mistakes were not acceptable. Okay. Well, I got clay. I didn't get any salt, but what are you gonna do? I guess we, we could go into the uh, the sandbox while I'm here, I guess. Try to find a little bit of salt that we can recover. Took long enough for his kids to forget who he was. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I was just sort of fitting in uh, a little bit of time here and there when I could, uh, when I could fight her. And I just hit record every time just in case I happen to win. More splinters. Not really well armored at the moment. Oh, you're right, I'm not. I'm not, you're right. I've only got... I've got the, the dive equipment on right now. Yeah. I can't go in the sandbox with this. I'll get fried. On top of getting smoked by the... Uh, evil ant lions, I'll get fried. Why can't I grab this thing? Hello? Bueller? What's going on here? There we go. Jeez. Cheese it! Smoked and fried, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the combos box over there, uh, against the, the brick wall at the back there. The box is the combos, uh, and I think that's where the, the wasps are supposed to be. I guess we'll go get my, uh, my bag of stuff. And then we'll check for... Uh, uh, check for muscle sprouts down here, too, while we're at it. 
Zolo Dotcast with a 24 month member message. First, a, a be bear fisted for my two year anniversary. Or fight a be bear fisted. T yeah. Um. This is this is this is woe mode. Like that bee would destroy me. <laughs> Maybe when we go back. I gotta get different armor though. Okay. Show me the way to get in here. Oh, please don't eat me, giant fish. Don't be coy. I wonder if I would have lived if I tried to go in here instead of trying to swim to the surface. It might have been a slightly shorter route. Shouldn't you have emptied your pockets while you're at base? Yeah, probably, but I'm not so full that I can't carry stuff. There are no muscle sports ready anyway. I died for nothing! Dang it. Oh, plus I can, uh, I can research stuff when I'm down here, I guess. Analyze! <laughs> Fighting millennia is like playing a game of patience. Sometimes you can't win, but if the possibility is there for you to win, then you have to play your cards right. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing is just not getting hit by her, because, you know, there's plenty of opportunities to hit her. It's just, if she gets you with a couple of attack moves, it's devastating. She's got this, like, one flurry attack where she, like, zips in towards you and does, like, all these swirly attack things. It hits you a whole bunch. If you get caught by it, you're dead. And I kept trying to roll out of the way of it, but I couldn't seem to time the rolls right, so I finally realized I could just block it with a shield, and... She gets a little healing off it, but not so much that it's a big problem. Hey, Zach. Do a little dance. Stab a little tad. Get tricky tonight. Get tricky tonight. Okay, I got enough to finish my, my finish my hearth here. Oh, it's practically a home now because I have a hearth. Fireplace hearth. Light it. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Okay, I like that. That is a good cosmetic thing to add. Now there is some um, some chimney stuff we can put on this too. Throw a fireplace chimney up here. I guess it snaps into place. Do I have enough stuff? I don't have enough pebbles now. <laughs> that figures. All right, whatever. Oh, I need more chests. I forgot about that. I gotta do something about my storage situation here. Oh my god, I got I got a lot more clay than I thought I did. Okay, this is for arrows. We'll put that away. Home is where the hearth is. That's right. We start early, or I don't know how many times I was. Uh, no, we didn't start early. I started on time. Normal 9 p.m. Uh, streaming time. 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, anyway. All right. We're gonna need a few things here. Um, well, for starters, we'll get the globs out of here. Even though I, I'm one salt short of making. Another upgrade for the spear, which really sucks. Having a, the upgraded trident would be really nice. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, I do need to make arrangements for food. I have a little bit here that I've roasted up, so that's a good start. Maybe I should make more jerky to bring with me. Uh, I also need some more of the fancy slop stuff, because, you know, who doesn't like more beefy slop? Hmm, it's beeftacular. I've got plenty of these at least. Um, I had... I take these. I wonder what happens if I put spoiled meat in the slurry maker machine thing. What does this make? What did I get out of that? Did I get a beefy slop out of that? I didn't notice. I think I did. Yep, beefy slop. Nice! I can, oh wait, I want the spoiled meat for the gardening. Ah, crap. Well, I wasted one. <laughs> I was saving that for a reason. I actually, uh, I want to use it for planters. And now I just wasted some. So go me. You can grow mussel sprouts in the garden now. Yeah, so actually, um, let's try making one of those. 
Where do I even have it unlocked? I don't even know if I do. Oh, here we go. Here's the uh, the garden patch. I need a couple stems for this. I'll put a garden patch out here, because why not? Why is this thing obstructed? Oh, this one might be just a little bit too low in the water. Let's take it back here. Boop. I need three more stems, though. Inventory management sim? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, that's most survival games. Oh, jerky. Come here, I need more jerky. I think there's actually something I can cook in the... Uh, and little oven thing that uses nat jerk or uh, ape and jerky, so this will work. Plus, it stacks. That's pretty good too. What did I come over here for? Oh yeah, stems. <laughs> I need stems. Got too busy myrtleizing. I kind of lost track. Okay, the shield needs to go away. I can't see. Oh my god, it's a slaughtering field. I don't have to worry about food to bring with me now. Uh, okay. Where's my axe here? Choppity chop! Looking forward to this update. Love the stream. Thanks, Tugboat. Yeah, it's good times. Oh, I gotta change my armor and stuff, too. I, I'm still wearing the, uh, the underwater armor. I kind of would like to... The, the termites... T <sighs> They're kind of a pain. They take a lot of stabbing with the trident. So I kind of want to get that additional piece of salt that I need before we um, before we go after the termites. Okay, so growth cell, optional fertilizer to modify growth. Let's, let's see what happens when I plant the mussel sprout in here. I need one of those and we'll get some of this stuff for growth, I guess. I don't know how many it'll take. There we go. Growth time, 30 hours, green thumb chance, 1%. I don't know what the green thumb does exactly, but uh, we're ready to plant, so let it rip. Okay, so we've got mussel sprouts growing. Uh, I'm assuming it'll give me multiples back for the one that I put in there. Oh yeah, I see... There's two, two popping up, it looks like. Man, I hope it's more than just two, though. That's that's a kind of a terrible exchange rate. Stems and ape and jerky, oh my! Uh, I need I need this armor. Man, interesting. It used to just swap out only the pieces you had that matched with the. Slots in the thing, but that's all right. Look at this fancy hearth we got. I gotta get some more stones for it. Get some pebbles. Fruity pebbles. Maybe even cocoa pebbles. Oh, weevil meat. All right. Poor weevil died, man. Who killed the weevil? Where's all the darn pebbles? One day I'm going to feel bad about the number of those things I've stabbed, but not today. I think the green foam is rotten food and give it up to four. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, so it said green thumb chance 1%, but I just, I wasn't clear... Uh, like, does it give you a chance to get, like, an extra yield out of it when you harvest it or something, or... What's the deal with that? There we go, I found the pebbles. Revenge incoming, weevils. Yeah. <laughs> they basically just run at your base and then die. <laughs> like, we got him, guys. Oh. It's showing the uh, the targeting thing at the top a lot longer than you think it would. Considering I wasn't actually fighting that thing. Oh, where's those stems? Take some extra stems back with me. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of weevils eat your base, yeah. Wait, what? I'm disoriented here. I feel like this field of view is tighter than I remember being, too. Maybe I need to tweak it. Maybe I got, uh, I got used to the small land one, maybe. Hold on. Options, display, V-Sync is on, gamma, motion blur is off. I'm gonna turn up the gamma a tiny bit so it's maybe a little clearer on stream when I'm in the dark. And we'll tweak out the field of view a tiny bit. Look at that, it's not even dark anymore. Yep, extra chance, quill bean cuts down in growth time. Got it. Gotta got it. Get it, gotta get it. Oh, I should have. Wait. Spoiled meat. Dang it. Get that one roasting. All the things that are the things can go in here. See, I'm gonna keep the jerky with me. <sighs> Crud. Stupid shoulder. Okay. Now, this thing has a topper we can put on it, too, so we're gonna want that. Not because we need it, but just because. Just because I want it. There we go. Ta da! That looks cool. I approve. I feel like this game's really been missing a fireplace, so that's a nice thing to have. Hopefully there's like a scenario where we can hang things in the fireplace. That'd be cool too. Probably not, but... When will they let us into the home? Uh, as far as I know, never. I don't think there's any intention for them to have the inside of the house as a playable area. At least not that I've, not that I've heard. Okay, I have a good chunk of arrows on me. I've got armor. Um, we got the black ant sword. I can use that for fighting the ant lions while I get the salt that we need. Blah. I got a, got a massage book for Friday. Hopefully they can sort my back out for me. It's all messed up. Um, yeah, let's go back to the... Um, Go back to the sandbox. Oh, I should check the mutations. What am I got on right now? All right, we got the cool one on. Cool runnings. Oh, so look, we have um, different mutation loadouts now. So there's A, B, C, D. Uh, we can set these up for different things. So like if I, this one can be like my sandbox one. And then maybe this one will be like my termite one or something. I don't know. Whatever, so I wanna run fast. Um, so instead of the cool, the cool thing, we'll go with, um, where's this? Javelinier. There we go. Yeah, so when I switch between them now, we got, like, an easy way to set them up. You don't have to, like, constantly change them all. 
It was kind of cool. I like that. It's a nice little quality of life adjustment. I think they might be saving that for part two, maybe inside the house for part two. I, I don't know. From everything they've said, they just didn't have any intention of having the inside of the house as a as a thing. I don't even know if they're planning to do a grounded two or not. I, I, I think it's been a pretty successful game, so there might be an argument to be made that they should make a sequel. Whether they plan to or not, though, I don't know. Did I try the customize button? Which customize button? Wait, is there a customize button when you're like building the fireplace? I should have gone to the higher zip line. That would have been a little faster than this one. <laughs> oh well. When you were looking at the fireplace, there was a button prompt for customize. Oh, I should check that out then. Curious what different cosmetic options there are there. Oh crap. Leave me alone, B! Buzz off! Rotten bees? Always miss it. You know, it's really hard to grab these things now. I don't know why, I don't know why that would be. Oh, come on. All right, they did something something weird with the zip lines where it's not it's not queuing up the uh, the option to grab it the same way it used to. Go to the box at night, it might be better. Uh well, the maybe, I don't know. I like being able to see though. Look, I can't grab this thing. I have to put the. Oh, maybe I gotta put. Now I can grab it. That's weird. That's gotta be a, a bug or something. I put the the weapon away and then I could grab it. But then even when I had the weapon out again, I could still grab it. So I don't know. I think something got messed up there. I'm sure they'll sort it out. This zipline's not calibrated for someone of your generousness. That's right. <laughs> They made it look more like Far Cry zip lines. I've never played Cry Far Cry. Is the zip line bad? Come on, do your little chargey move. Oh god, come on, don't die to this thing. Really? Jeez. <laughs> god dang, those things hurt when you screw up. Hmm. Those uh beefy slops do not heal for as much as they used to either. That did like nothing. Like, it, it definitely gave me heals, but, like, nowhere near what I thought it would. This is concerning. That means I have to prepare, I have to prepare a whole lot more... Uh, ...resources before going to some place. That's not cool. Eat oh. that. Come on! Antline great sword in this thing. I don't even want to fight these things. I just want the salt. <laughs> I see it. Ah, I see a spark over here.
No oh, crap. I don't really want to fight two of them. Crap! Run! Cheese it! It's so pitiful when she wants attention. Oh, that sucked. Get up. Try to, try to ambush me while I'm, like, reloading? What's your problem? Okay. It works to get your attention. It does work to get my attention. It just sounds so pathetic. I feel so bad for her. She's like, Row! Row! <laughs> Stamina meter is very generous. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's uh, get myself healed up here a bit. Okay, I saw a sparkle down here. With any luck, that sparkle will have salt underneath it. Found a treasure box. Merry treasure! Gum nugget! Oh, come on. I mean, gum's alright, I guess, but it's not what I wanted. Be able to hit those things in the ground. Do they change it so you can't, or is it just the sword that won't do it? How about you don't? Get up! I just realized I forgot to make repair glue, too. I have one on me, but I should probably make more. Rotten food? Can I use rotten food in the grow in the grow things? Let's find out. Firing minds wanna know. Who <laughs> you call him gum nugget? Don't even. Uh okay, so it's not that one for the salts. Uh, it's got to be the one over here, right? Probably should have put a marker down for which one of these pits had the salt cave in it. Is it this one here? Interesting. It's not able to throw the ants all the way up over the side anymore. They're like landing short and falling back down inside. Feels like that's a bit of a nerf for this thing. I need stamina to pull the trigger on this thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Why, you evil little bugs? 
I don't want to go down there. Your friend's down there. Not interested in fighting two of you at once. If I can avoid it. Oh, crap. I guess all things considered, this, uh... This guy probably would be in the cave anyway. Nope, I don't want to go down there. You got friends. You got company. Oh, I timed that wrong. Oh. Oh, got it. Okay, now we got both of them. That's really Water. Right, one down. Where's my canteen? There it is. Hold on a second, I'm drinking. I'm drinking! Ah! I'm trying to drink! <laughs> Leave me alone! Ah! <laughs> uh, good thing my spawn point's like right here. Uh, all I wanted was a drink, man. I just wanted a drink. Yeah, they, you take more damage when you hit them. Oh. Seriously? The sandbox- oh, launch me up. The sandbox would be such a pain in the butt. There's just so many ant lines, and they take so many hits. That was the best drink, yeah. the final drink so that was okay did I see a glimmer over here I did top of the hill ah it's not solved I guess spicy candy's okay too, but it's not salt. Oh, crap. There you are. Them all, all my arrows and stuff in here. Give me back all my arrows. There was a lot of arrows here. A lot of feather arrows, too, actually. Here, one of those suckers burrowing. Now, what do, what do you want? What do you want about these? Odds are that I'll get in here and it'll turn out that either this is the wrong cave again. Or the salt the still hasn't respawned from the last time I took it. Oh, if it does ever respawn, actually, I don't even know if it does. <laughs> I might be coming in here for no good reason. I might not, actually, now that I think about it. Dang it. Stamina. Okay. I suspect there's not going to be any salt in here. 
really sucks. Crud. What's that damage going? Oh, that's my weapon about to break. Nothing important. My shield's actually a little, little roughed up too, I think. Because I didn't have all perfect blocks in here. Oh no, there's no salt in here! This is not good. <sighs> Feed myself with some jerky. I need the, the uh, fancy hammer for that one. I can't get that. Yep, no salt in here. Dang it! Where else can I get salt? I mean, I might be able to find it. There's another, uh, at least one more of these caves I haven't been in. So there might be salt there. The salt comes from my tears. Oh, that's where I get the salt from. Why didn't I think of that? So this one over here I haven't been in. Maybe we'll get lucky over here. Why? You know what? I should be. I should be checking on using some repair gear on this sword. Let's see repair. Ah, oh, I can't use repair glue on this thing. Dang it! What about this? <laughs> All right, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so. These things are not weak to stabbing, but they they are weak to salty, so hopefully this will help. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to get staggered with this thing. I don't get that with a sword. Well, they might have changed the salt spawn locations, but I also looted them before, and it could be that it just doesn't respawn, and I was, for some reason, thinking it would. Okay, the salty stabbing works better than the sword does. That's funny. I guess the salt does some good damage to them. That you hear. I'm sure there must be other places I can get salt from. I'm just not sure where. You know, sort of used to getting it from on top of the picnic table, but I don't see you there. The wooden bots the dust. Have you got the salt for the porch? Uh, no. Is there salt on the porch too? Wait, which porch? The shed porch or the house porch? I, mean, I don't know that I've gotten either of them, but if there is any in there. Give me my arrows back. Pop up, up, please. Yeah, they must have fixed that so you can't stab them in the ground anymore.
Yeah, this thing makes short work of them. <laughs> the ability to just keep stabbing constantly is kind of handy. There's salt. All that for two salt things. <laughs> torch with me? I thought I had an Everchar torch. I must... Did I leave that at home somehow? Okay. Wow, that was a lot of work just to get two salt, but we got it. I got what I need. I really only needed one, because I, I, need, I need to make one more salt glob, so we can get one more upgrade for this uh, fancy trident business. Just realize he doesn't have a lower jaw? Oh yeah, no he doesn't. <laughs> just, just, just the upper part of the skull, no jaw. Consequently, he can't he can't eat any foods that require chewing. Plus trident repair. Uh yeah, the trident's not it's not really damaged. When we upgrade it, it'll repair automatically. I gotta repair my shield and stuff. <laughs> New quest, find jaw. Knowing you, you'd probably even manage to put put out the Everchar torch. Yeah, probably. I probably would. If the Everchar torch, it, it does burn down. You gotta you gotta repair it, but <laughs> only mushy food. It's anything you can have like I was gonna say through a straw, but he can't really. He doesn't have any lips, so straws don't work either. He pretty much just has to pour it down the inside of his skeleton? I mean, I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> None of it's really realistic. Oh my god, what is with this? Oh, come on! Okay, they, they definitely... They definitely messed something up with the zip lines. Wait, is that not connected? Already connected. What the heck, man? Ah, oh, crap, there's the zip line. Go, 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 go! <laughs> He's chasing me! Woo, that was close. <laughs> Yeah, I tried taking out the weapon and putting it away, but it didn't work. I don't know. Hopefully they fix that before they release it to the, the main branch of the game. It's a little bit messed up. Just a wee little bit. Okay. Salt glob. Get that thing going. Uh, where's my churn thing? I need to make more of this fancy repair glue stuff. What's this here? Termite parts. All right. I got lots of amline parts, so we'll make it out of that, I guess. Uh, I need to... ...repair this thing. Need to repair this thing. Oh, what the? What'd I do? Any weapon, selecting this will pin any item to this type of slot. What did I do to myself? That's weird. Oh, it's for assigning the slot. Oh, interesting. All right. Repair that. Might as well repair this too, I guess. Or maybe not. <laughs> I bought it on black, black antline parts. I guess I won't be doing that repair either. All right, I got my shield though. That's good. Uh, Try and I got a little repair glue. Antline parts can go in somewhere. Your works, I guess. Or not. Oh my god, I need chest space. Just started playing Valheim on Game Pass. Love the vids. 
I hope you enjoy the game. Valheim's a lot of fun. They're, uh, I think the latest update is going to have like a bunch of difficulty setting choices and stuff you can make now. I saw something about things you could tweak. Uh, this shouldn't be in here, but whatever. Let's stick it there now anyway. Got arrows. Gonna need more beefy slop, I think. It's a jerky. All right, we'll sleep. Make it daytime. Oh, wait, actually, what can I make into this thing? Nothing. Aw, man. Nachos. I have no mushrooms for the mite fuzz. Oh, do these grow? Still in progress. All right, make it daytime. Sleep till morning. Is there a larger chest than the test build, or is it locked behind the comforts? Uh, it might be? I don't know. Where's my trident? Trident true. Salty jewel. I can't do that, but at least I got a... little fancy level 8 trident now. This stuff's all ready. That going. I probably should have done that last night. Okay, um... What do I have that's better armor? This thing is level 7 across the board. Whoops. What level is this stuff? Level 8. Level 7. Alright, I'm gonna take the, uh... I'm gonna take the ladybug armor. This is the crusty roly-poly armor, so I probably don't want that one. Oh, why'd I do that? Let's do this the easy way. There we go. Betterer! Uh, I need to stab some stuff down here. That'd be great. Actually slash it, because I want to cook the cook the meat. Come here, little tadpole. I haven't died in a while, I could use more food. I've already died, like, what, two, three times tonight? <laughs> three times, I think. I also need to reset my spawn point. I kind of forgot to do that still. All right, those are ready. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, reset spawn point. Very good. Need to refill my canteen, so we got liquid in here. I'm gonna need a, cho a torch. I, I could have sworn I had made an Everchar torch already, but maybe I didn't. Do I have what I need to make an Everchar torch? What the heck was that noise? <laughs> this is make a chimey noise when they finish cooking now? That's weird. Torch plus, ever charred torch. Oh, I don't have the lint rope yet. Okay, so we'll make a torch plus anyway. Put that ready on slot six. Uh, I could use some bandages. I don't have fiber for. Well, crud. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Would you like an apple pie with that? Oh, muscle sprouts are ready. That's kind of a lame exchange right there. 30 hours to turn one muscle sprout into two muscle sprouts. Like, you'd have to have a lot of those things going to make that worthwhile. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of fiber so I can make bandages, and then I guess we'll head over towards the fancy uh, termites. The termites! Nasty hobbitses. Don't forget to try the rotten hot dog as fertilizer. Oh, yeah. 
We're gonna try the rotten food. I think it works. I can recall you can use rotten food for that, but we'll find out. Antlion armor is tier three, so should be stronger than the tier two ladybug armor. Wait, antlion armor? Uh, well, hold on. Let's go see what the blocking effect is like of these things. Uh, antlion poncho. Defense. Oh, it's pretty much maxed. What about the defense on the this one here? Oh, yeah. It's better. Even though it's not as high level, actually. The legs and stuff aren't, though. Just the, uh, the chest part. One, two, three, four, and a bit. One, two, three, four, five, and a bit. Resistance, five percent, where this one has resistance, like, seven and a half. I don't know. Resistance, ten. So, you got better resistance out of the ladybug armor. I don't know. Slightly better defense on this, though, so I guess we'll wear this. Uh, I do need to fix it, though. Repair! Okay, it is repair glue for this, too. Oh, you know what? It's the stuff on the spinning wheel that's making that noise. I recall rotten food shortens growth time. Okay, we'll try it. Uh, I gotta figure out where I stuck all the rotten food now, though. That's the spoiled meat, so that's not it. Where you at, rotten food? There it is. Rotten food. Oh! Yeah! That's way better. Look, it gave me a green thumb chance of 51%. Growth time is still 60 hours, though. So it looks like the rotten food increases the green thumb chance, and the spoiled meat decreases the growth time. So, two different effects. Oops. Uh, I forgot the plant. That's why it wasn't growing yet. There we go. So it'll take 60 hours for that, which is fine, because we're going to be off in the upper yard anyway. Anybody got time for that? Yeah. Oh, items hot deposited. Don't do this to me, game. Not like this. Yeah, it makes the ding when these things are done each time, I think. Dum -dum -dum. All right, let's go to the upper yard. Uh, I've got to go up to the zip line up there, though, because I don't have... I don't have a zip from down here to get to the yard. <laughs> it's not the fastest trip up, but it's probably quicker than walking. Yoink. Oh, I missed. Ah, crap. Gotta jump like one second before I hit that thing. Weevil has heart attack, starts rolling backwards. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't make it. So I'll have to keep an eye out for more rotten food, I guess, if that's gonna increase the green thumb. That is very handy. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't be the first time I missed that jump. Look, I specialize in making errors, okay? This is what I do. Don't mess with my mojo. Okay, now that I have that uh, termite axe, actually, on the way by the glove, I can get some of the lint we need. Since I can now harvest decade it. Save my canteen water a bit. Mm 
<laughs> I forgot I built this up here. <laughs> I specialize in making errors, sounds like something my parents would say. Maybe, but it's definitely something I do. <laughs> I can't claim flawless gameplay, that's for sure. There we go, lint acquired. And with this, we can make the fancy lint rope. Ashley with a super chat. We find you looking for skill, we stay for your Muppetry. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Skill. That's what it is. Oh, there's a molar down there. I don't want that molar, but I also kind of don't want to have to run out of that place. I'm gonna get all the way around. We'll get a later. Come for the Muppetry, stay for the fries. That's a noisy bee. So. There are a lot of termites in here. This is going to be kind of a pain. Bad mites, bad mites. What you gonna do? I don't want this guy coming back on me. Ow, little bit. Ow, stop hitting me. You don't get to hit me just because I hit you. That's not how this works. Go, go, go! <laughs> Didn't get me with your dirt move that time, you did ya? You little jerk. Okay, that one got me. Alright, get a salted termite. Because we got salt on our weapon. Who's got chips? I get I want some chips. Can okay, I have chips? Hey, come back here! Dang it. Those little twinkly bugs are a pain to get. see all the things there. It's dark and dreary in here, boy. I'll tell you what. That sucked. Oh, what came up behind me? Little jerk. Me. Oh god, go, go, go! God damn, this is gonna be a pain. Okay, that hurt. Ow! <laughs> that was healing! Jeez! These guys are brutal! Oh, that was right in my face. Okay, you know, stop that. <laughs> go, go, go. Woo. I do not approve. 
Oh my lord. I'm gonna go through all my healing. I haven't even got in here yet for crying out loud. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! My armor's already almost toast. Bunch of little jerks. Good grief. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> that took far too much effort and I'm really hurt already. Uh, I'm also running on low and beefy slop already. Wow. Dying is free healing, yeah. <laughs> it's not free, free equipment repair though, that's the trouble. Since bandages really don't heal as well as they used to, way back in the, way back in the long, long ago, it's kind of more problematic, you know. What if I should use the crossbow instead? Just backpedal a lot. Backpedaling anyway. Something spoiled. get all my arrows back though so what's spoiled on me could have been jerky or anything weird maybe oh I wonder if uh, the stuff spoiling at the base will make the sound effect wherever I am because I had a couple things in the cooking spit there that I kind of forgot about uh, oh, really Thank you. <laughs> it was not a flawless victory. No. <laughs> Who Kang wins flawless victory. Alright, raw science acquired. What I should do probably is go back and turn these into uh Turn these into arrows. Come back here. Ah, it's gone. <laughs> I'm not salvaging that sucker. Why are we coming down here again? What do you mean coming down here where? Who what now? Oh crud. Oh crud. Oh crud. I really don't want to get hit by this guy. Am I going to avoid it? Thank you. Stunned him with, just by blocking with the shield. That's crazy. Right, suck it, you little jerk. Get it? Cause he's a mosquito. 
Come here for the skills, stay for the witty humor. Wanna <laughs> say something about bacon? Mm, bacon. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, we're already back at the entrance. It's done! Yeah, there you go. Suck it. Oh, one at a time, they're really not bad. It's when you get multiples of them that it's, uh, it's a little overwhelming. And there's kind of a lot of termites, like... There's a lot of termites in here. Please tell me I only drew one. Come on, jerk. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what the fox, you get the trident. <sighs> Bubba Bones is pretty humorous. Ha! <laughs> Missed me. Nope, that's the wrong button. Ah! Ah, crud. No! Stay back! Oh, I don't want to mess with both of you guys at once. Come on. No. Cheese it! Time to run! Woo, God. Little jerks. Put some quick heals in. We'll go back in after. God dang. I should have brought more healing with me. That was definitely a faux pas on my part. Oh, you guys are still interested in me? I'm so flattered. Oh, crud. Oh, god dang. Oh, so dead. <laughs> well, so much for that. Oh, respawn at field station. Nice. Something broke. My dandelion tuff broke. Dang it. Get those repaired. This repaired also. My shield, unfortunately, I cannot repair on the fly because I don't have any amp parts. I'm doing amazing. What, in terms of dying, you mean? Yeah, I got all the dying figured out. Uh, I don't have a dandelion tuff, so I can't jump from up here. Which, I have to say, kind of sucks. Did I study the splinters yet? Yeah, I did. Twenty-four hour stream if you hit a thousand deaths. Yeah, <laughs> a thousand deaths tonight? I don't think that's even possible. I mean, I can die a lot, but that rate of dying is just that—that that might be beyond me. I think. What are you doing? I thought I had the mint mallet. Apparently I don't. You don't need no stinking mint mallet. Ow, you little jerk. I gotta get another dandelion tub. Three is a good amount of deaths? Yeah, yeah. There'll be more, I'm sure. 
The biggest thing I find with the uh, with the termites is just there's so many of them. It's a little overwhelming. It's a lot of things to kill solo, especially since they start respawning. Hey, my arrows back, please. Thank you very much. Need those rather desperately. Really big show. Okay, we're gonna get a dandelion tough. There should be a, be a dandelion around here somewhere. I really would prefer not to try to go back in there without one, though, because if I have to jump out of that opening, it'll just result in me going splat. There's one over there. With my luck, these are gonna fall straight into the chasm. Nope. Nice. Jackpot. We believe in you, you can do it. By do it, you mean die, right? <laughs> We can succeed the dying. Oh, there's a little nuggety thing up here. Me all them bits. Oh crud! Oh crud! <laughs> I don't know how I managed to fall that way, but that—that's impress. Ah, come on, game! Oh, I kind of went up there. Interesting. I'm stuck back. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh my god, I cannot see anything. This is not good. You little jerk. Okay, that's bad. If I have to fight in here with a torch, this is gonna own me. dead okay I need to like make it daytime or something this is uh, not gonna be manageable at night I really need my shield uh, consume let <laughs> him sitting up there just watching me you know what Payback.
Can't really even see him, but I can shoot him. I hear all the arrows falling down, though. That sucks. I'm gonna need those back. It's better to die for the Emperor than live for yourself. Is that what they say? Okay, so who's the Emperor in this situation? Ah, come on. Ow! Ooh, got him just before he did the little dirt throw thing in. Okay, I need my arrows back. I think a whole bunch of them went like straight off the side of this thing. Yep. Oh, give me that! Oh, no! Oh, come on. Stuck. This is very inconvenient. <laughs> Actually, if there's clover here, I can make. Yeah, there is. I can make a, a lean to. We can make it daytime. Where's the lean to? The heck, man. Where's the lean to? <laughs> Am I blind? There it is. <laughs> it was hidden behind the simple bed. Okay, uh, I would prefer to be elevated so that I'm not where all the other things are. I'm gonna set it as a respawn point too, I think. I want that arrow! Ah, dang it. Oops, that didn't work. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the lean two is next to the lean four. Ha. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and chug a lug some stuff. Hmm. I wish I had some other food options I'd brought with me. I should have, like, cooked something. Anyone know what the termite respawn rate is like? Are these guys gonna be back in here again? Do I gotta murder aligns them all over again? It's still dark, but at least I can see now that it's daytime. Oh god. Nope. Not gonna do it. Come on, buddy. Oh. That's what I 
going for the final stab. <laughs> Where's the invisibility potion you want? Yeah, right? Wait, did you say invisibility or invincibility? I didn't quite read that. Stop that! It's it hard, man. Back up! I okay, need healing. I don't have any healing. Oh crap! Ah oh, crap! Another one incoming. I'm getting out of here. No healing, yes, death coming. Well, I have some healing, but I didn't have it set up on my hot bar. Uh, consume. Got a few of these blood sacks I can use. They'll give me a little bit of healing anyway. We're definitely not getting in here to clear this whole thing out right now. We'll just take back as many of the termite bits with us as we can. He's gonna hang out right at the entrance here where I can't get him. All these arrows are going to fall down the face of the logs again. <laughs> Hear them tinkling down. Yeah, we're collecting termite bits. Not for any real reason, just to explore in here and kill stuff off. Turn it into glue, I guess. It's got that benefit for it. Termites want you gone. Oh no. <laughs> uh, at least they can't reach my base if they decide that uh, they're going to attack me. I don't think. I'm out in the water. I don't think they could reach me anyway. They like suck at termites. Yeah, I don't think I got all the arrows. But I don't see the, any other ones marked here. Other than that one I can't reach there. That one doesn't count. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a few down here. Never mind. Give me that. This tough's already almost gone again. Have a good night, Sunny Jim. Okay. I'm starting to think instead of messing around with these guys, I should probably go find an ox beetle, because it's actually got something I can turn into like upgraded equipment. Whereas the uh the termites not so much. Come get some. Ah. Rusty nails. I can't get the rust off those though. I don't have a high enough tier tool. I think they respawned in here on me.
Good grief. Look at them all in here. That's nuts. Just dirt attack again. <laughs> How do we keep attacking after I hit him? Usually, when I, if I do a perfect block on that second one, usually he stops. Whew. God dang. Have I tried not healing? <laughs> Shout Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be messy, messy, messy. He got me with a dirt clawed thing. The nest is restless. Yeah, they're uh, they're not happy with me right now. I may have irritated them just a little bit. Oh god, he broke my shield! Oh crud. Ooh, I got a gold termite soldier card. I thought that means a lot. All right, I gotta get out of here. Without a shield, uh, I'm gonna have a real hard time not getting my butt handed to me. What the heck was that down there? It's just mirrored and something really quickly goes zipping past below there. Maybe I'm seeing things. Maybe it was a shadow of the bee flying overhead. Shadow of the Colossus or something. <laughs> you got a golden ticket. Oh, it was a bee. Not a shadow, though. <laughs> oh, there goes my... My latest tuft. Okay, we gotta go back. I gotta do some repairing and such. Oh, actually, I don't even know if I I don't know if I have enough black ant parts to even repair my shield. That sucks. 
Ross is a science. Oh no, oh no. Go away, clan man, you frightened me. Oh, my internet's all over the place again. If you're seeing minor lag, it's because my internet drip dipped for a bit. It went back to normal now, but uh, it might have had a, a momentary interruption there. Oh, actually, I have uh, I have the tier four axe, so I can get the pupil leather here. Assuming I can get past the ladybirds. <laughs> Might be a bit of a big assumption. <laughs> One hide. to fight you wait can I peep you you've already been peeped suck it ladybird <laughs> that didn't work no jumping no jumping! Oh, he's getting close to getting up here, actually. <laughs> Passes with a super chat for avoiding the death loop, bud. Thanks, Passes. Appreciate the super chat. I don't have a good blunt weapon for fighting these things. I gotta get that bit of mallet. I don't remember what I need to make it that I don't have. Die already. I confess, this took more shots than I thought I would. <laughs> Flawless execution. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I'm low on food. Um, we need these, though. Leaderbird has some interesting jiggle physics. Yeah, it does look a little funky, right? I would think the shell wouldn't move quite that way. The ladybird thinks otherwise. <laughs> Welcome to Starship Troopers, where every day is an adventure. And how? Oh, there is. You do get more out of this. It's the way it scatters, you can't really see them all. I don't even remember what we make with the pupil leather, but I figure I might as well have some of it.
you going? Like I picked up rocks. Those weren't even. Those weren't even pupil leather. Pupil roll ups, yeah. They're like fruit roll ups, only uh, a little bit nastier and way more chewy. Did you say that's some gouda cheese? What, sitting on top of the rock and shooting the ladybird? That's not cheese, that's tragedy. Why fight something toe to toe when I don't have to? <laughs> Never needed stamina to fire the crossbow. Yeah, you do now. I don't know if they changed that or what, but. Can't fire it when you run out of stamina. I don't know, maybe they thought it was too powerful. Thanks for the jerky. The other pupil leather bits. There it is. Inventory full. Oh crap. Um. Consume. Now I can carry it. I guess I better go back now since I. I there we go. <laughs> it's like I can't pick it up now. Time to go home. Ask the ladybird. That's right. Strategies. We got all the strategies. Stuck? Nope. Imagine people roll us would have a certain crunch on them that you'd never want to experience when you're eating something chewy. Probably. Sounds about right anyway. You have the high ground, Anakin. Okay, back to the old homestead. What's going on here? So I, the pupa thing is the only thing I have to study. I can see if there's anything new I can buy with the science points. How did I didn't think to do that? Ah, I couldn't grab it on time. <laughs> Went by too quick. Too quick. Hi, Carolina. Yoink. Yep, so this stuff definitely spoiled. Alright, uh, I am gonna need more storage, I think. First, oh wait, do I not have the thing for the rope unlock? Oh, I haven't studied that either, okay. The little blue thing was hidden behind the edge of it, I didn't see that. Um... I need more chests. <laughs> I don't know if I have more materials to make chests, though. Quantic minds want to know. Who the hell do you think you are? Clover leaf? I'm missing clover leaf of all things? Okay. Uh, I gotta get clover, otherwise, I can't build my fancy chests there.
Gotta get them clovers. You need to examine the gum as well. Uh, do I? I thought I had already checked out the gum, but I suppose it's possible I didn't. For some reason, I thought I had already used the gum to build so oops, to build something, and so I had already researched it. Come on. Don't eat me fish! Ah, let me out of the water! God dang. Evil koi from hell. It's like gum. Where'd I put it? Oh, I got the cookies I gotta study too. Nope, the gum I already did. That's a plus. Why didn't these stash when I put all the stuff away? So much for a safe base. Well, it's mostly safe, as long as I don't fall off where the fish is. It's not entirely safe for mosquitoes, um, or bees, I guess. Anything flying, really. Anything on land, though, it works pretty good. I don't need this many clover, but I figure as long as I'm over here, I might as well get a bunch of it. Oh, you're right, that chest is turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I gotta move the... those kind of crafting materials to a different chest. Forgot I switched that one off for my equipment, because it was, uh... kept to, like, redepositing things on me I didn't want to. Let's get a little clover. <laughs> Yoink. Okay, just done, just done. Let's get the Slivers of stuff out of here. I'll keep this one just for equipment, if at all possible. Okay. Um, well, these can go in here too. I'll have to sort these out later. I'm going to actually need to set up more stores than what I have, I guess. I remember bringing a shroom bag with me. What do we, uh, what do we need for that mint maze? Oh, I can make one! Two mint globs, got the tough gunk, sweet! Okay, I needed that. Ah, oh, that's good. I definitely needed a good blunt weapon, so that, um, that helps a lot. Uh, let's get rid of this in favor of that. Okay, I gotta go research these things because I have a few things I can make with them, like the, uh, the pupa leather when we dry out the pupa hide or whatever it's called. And then also, um, 
the lint rope or whatever it is. Need that too. <laughs> I, I discovered weevil jerky. New update! Coil now knock structures off lily pads. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> oh, there's the black ox stuff. That's good. Lint rope. Nice, nice. Completely forget what I needed it for, but I know I needed it for something. Some people are there. Yeah, for molar upgrades. Uh, max resource stack size would be good. Max arrow stack size, I think I'm gonna take though. Look the core. <laughs> uh, max health would be good. Although improved healing, hunger, thirst, rain reduction. Spread like it. Spread it. Okay. Anything new in here? Fin flop upgrades. That's not new. Feather roofs, acorn turret. So that's the uh, the new turret setup. Well, it takes four thousand for that thing. Waft emitters, the stuff. Buoyant foundation, curved bases, cookbook pond, swim speed, junior diver swim speed. Those suck. Uh, ladder cookbook head to daredevil. All right, so nothing new in here that I've discovered. I guess I could get curved base pieces, that'd be alright. Scabby milk molars? Ah, oh, I should grab that. That would have been the thing to do. Cookbook haze. Attack stamina, critical hit chance. It's, this one's a pretty good one, I guess. I gotta grow more mushrooms though if I'm gonna do that. Gotta go with the fin flops upgrade so we can swim faster. You don't need health, you don't use it anyway, that's right. Just block with my face and let what happens, happens. You don't need no stinking health. It's really dark out here, I don't like it. Too spoopy. Okay, so we can make uh, we can make lint rope now. <laughs> well, a little bit of it anyway. I <laughs> clearly need to get more lint. I need a bunch of that pupa too. Sleep till morning. Have you found the wasp hive? No, I haven't been looking for it. Um, it's in the uh, the compost bin over here in the upper yard. I have not gone to look for you because I'm just not at the point where I'm prepared to deal with wasps. Oh. Okay, now I got something else to research. Okay, I gotta research that and research this. Let's stay here, weevil jerky. <laughs> I don't really need this weevil nose. Out of way. How are these doing? Still growing. <laughs> yes, he's being still being bullied by. Termites? Well, I mean, we already went up and fought a whole bunch of termites. I don't really need to go back to them just yet, because I can't really get to the king termite yet. Uh, once I can do that, then that'll be a uh, thing we gotta do. Um, where did I put my weapon? Oh, it's right here. I gotta go slash some, uh... Some more tadpoles under here. They're making too much noise. Noisy neighbors!
Don't you get for being too noisy. So I think that square thing that's popping up there the, on the lower right. I thought it was like an error, but I, I think it might actually be something that's showing the comfort level of my base. Because it only appears when I'm within a certain range of my base area, I think. Yeah, see, so it just went away. When I go back to my base, it'll pop back up again. That's got to be the probably the comfort rating. This branch adds a nice amount of new content. Yeah, I uh, I want to see what else we can unlock to build. I mean the um, the hearth we made there is kind of cool, but there hasn't I don't see a ton else in here, cosmetic wise. I know they did add more things. I just uh, <laughs> little sound effect when stuff is done is interesting. Yeah, okay, we'll research these uh, other things I made. Pretty unintuitive indicator of so. That little ding noise you mean? I guess. It didn't take too long to figure out what it was. It seems like whenever, whenever anything's done, like something you're cooking or something you're crafting that has a time consumption involved. Mutation you get from leveling up coziness meter is very worth it. Oh, yeah? My base is not very cozy. I mean, I've got... I think it's coziness level one or something. <laughs> but I don't even have a roof, so it's... It's not really much of a base. It's just a collection of crafting things, really. Give me that. My jerky. They have the comfort square, yeah. <laughs> okay. There was something that I thought I needed the... the lint rope for, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I should make splinter arrows, actually. Oh, I need dust mite fuzz. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta go up on the porch and get dust mite fuzz. Twenty rounds. What the heck needed the lint rope? Was it something armor-related? Yeah, I mean, the roly-poly stuff needs lint rope, but that's not what I was thinking of. Termite armor. Oh, I need the King Carapace for that. Alright. I think I'll upgrade the uh, mint mace a bit. Brittle whetstone for that. Then we'll go up topside, and uh, I want to. I'm gonna have to get. Um, I'm gonna have to get dust mite fuzz, but I also need to kill some uh, some of the roly polies as well as the ox beetles. This might be. I want to say messy. Was it upgrade something like your shield? No, you can't upgrade the shield. Unfortunately. I can't even repair my shield right now. I need uh, black ant parts for that thing. Kinda screwed up a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, it said brittle, more brittle whetstone, right? Yeah, brittle whetstone. Oh, 
Okay, I need mighty globs to do that. What does it take to make mighty globs again? Sturdy whetstones. So we gotta craft those. How many globs do I need? Is it five? Yeah. I cannot for the life of me remember what I needed that, what I wanted that lint for. Uh, I can't make splinter arrows. I, gotta, I have to get the, um, the dust mite fuzz, and I haven't killed any dust mites. They're actually up on the, up on the porch, and I just put a bunch of stuff away. I think. Yeah. All right. <laughs> quite the range on the deposit on that thing. I don't remember what it was though. Yeah, I need black hand parts to fix my shield. That's a problem. Um, let's make more of this stuff. I can't think of what it was. I thought there was something I wanted to make with it. Huh. I have no idea. No, oh, what's the other one of this one? Well, that's the grass table. No clue. Oh well. Can't be that important. Oh, the torch! Was it, was it was it the torch? Yeah, it was the torch. Thank you. Good lord. My brain, no workies. I could not have brains. Thank you. That was gonna bother me. So... Where's my regular torch? There it is. Char torch. Uh, I'm gonna need black ant parts so I can fix my shield. That sucks. Uh, which means I have to go back over where the ants are. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh. I haven't studied the crusty roly poly breastplate? Why is this Barton? Is it open for an upgrade? No, no, it was for uh, the Everchar Torch, so I have that now. Yeah, I gotta make some more healing, too. I'm just gonna go and study this uh, Breastplate, because I thought I had already done so, but I apparently didn't. Uh, I need to put this back down here. Level 6 Mint Mace will come in handy, I guess. Now I have a, at least have a decent blunt weapon I can use. Go to the porch and get black ants and dust my clothes. Yeah, it's up on the uh, the shed porch there. I don't have a convenient path to get up there and back. Um, I should, I'd like to set up a zip line over there so that I have a way to get there conveniently. And actually, the toenail clippings are up in that little ashtray there too. I can do with some of those, as gross as that sounds. Uh, but I need to get uh, some more spider webbing too while I'm at it. Means I guess we gotta kill some spiders. Some spadooters. No. Oh. Lost interest, did ya? Regained interest, did ya? He can't make up his mind. Oh, now he did. How about you don't attack me right now? Took forever.
forever to kill that thing. Oh, there was... Never mind, it was two there. <laughs> or three. Whatever. Multiple. Come here, jerk. That's a nice change. When you perfect block the mosquitoes now, it knocks them out of the air. No, it didn't that time. Alright, I stand correct. Yeah, what the? Stop that! Jerks. Attack me? Busy fighting stuff. Oh, crap. Must be because I'd softened him up already with a couple hits of this thing. Ow! Alright, that sucked. That hurt a little bit. <sighs> Pair bow and spear. Oh, I gotta get, uh... Mosquitoes are annoyed by you. Aw, oh, crap. I really don't want mosquitoes attacking my base. That would suck. I don't have any kind of protection for that. Now that's fixed. That's fixed. We go kill spiders. Actually, I... I uh, maybe I better make... I gotta make uh, some more healing stuff, and then I'm, I think I'm gonna have to go and get more black ants killed, because I have to get... Oh, actually, there's black ants up on the porch up there, isn't there? I gotta get stuff to repair my shield. I can get that from up there, though. This back. I wonder if they changed it so that the other recipes maybe give better healing now. Trying to encourage people to actually make real recipes instead of that junk. I don't know if that's a thing. Got a crash. Have a good night. See you, Gene. Yeah, definitely better reach with the spear. Okay, how much silk rope have I got? Because I'd like to make a. Uh, Oh, I'll get these two. Need that for this thing. Uh, I want to make a zip line up to that upper area if I can manage it. Just don't know that I have enough spider web. Do I have any? What the hell? Oh, I had some somewhere. Oh, there it is. I got eight. That's definitely not enough. Ah, not good. Okay, I need a whole lot of that. I'm gonna have to go up to the upper yard the slow way. And I'm gonna have to do this with a shield, too, which sucks. Alright. Off we go. That armor's not looking like it's gonna take... More than one hit? Or am I seeing things wrong? I'm not sure which armor you were, you were talking about, Jean. Uh, she's, uh, Jean's even still here. Um, if you meant the roly, the crusty roly poly armor, yeah, it was pretty much toast. But I wasn't intending to wear it. I was just uh, researching it. <laughs> An eternity later, possibly even several eternities later. Make sure bring the other materials to fix your shield. Well, I think it's all black ant parts, isn't it? Yeah, it's just black ant parts to fix the shield. And I can get black ants from up on the porch over there. 
I gotta get another dandelion tuft though. That one I had broke. Falling now would not be a good option. Where's our roly poly friend here? Oh wait, let's make probably should set my respawn. That's better. Bitter, better, butter. I think I peaked, peaked this guy already. Yeah. Resistance, uh, so busting in fresh. Is this a sickly roly poly? No, this is a regular roly poly. Didn't like that, did ya? God, you knocked me down. Get knocked down, but I get up again, really poly. You're never gonna keep me down. Oh god, he's he's healing so fast. Ow. Got how slow this thing is. Oh god, he smoked me. That was not a good block. <laughs> I'm not a lot of practice fighting these guys. Just saying hi, Crypto Fox. Well, hi, James. Listen, roly poly. Did I not drop a bag? I guess I didn't because I hadn't actually clicked anything. That's interesting. Get roly polyed! <laughs> when I blocked that. That one I blocked. Big two-handed swing. Ugh. And it was not effective. Ow! Okay. This is really poly. He's too, he's too good for me. I'm out of stamina. Go, go, go! Go! Oh. <laughs> Dang it, really poly! I'm gonna do a better job of blocking him. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Nope! Oh god, alright. I'm laughing at him, but meanwhile, I'm getting splattered. Oh, I can't even get up there? Oh god, I'm screwed. Maybe the roly poly won't know I'm here. <laughs> he hurt me. I didn't like it. God, he hits hard. Hit him fast enough to even keep up with his healing. That's crazy. Ow! That didn't work. Oh, come on, roly poly. Just get dead already. Stamina. Oh, good. Stunned him.
Yeah, got him. And it only took me one try. <laughs> Flawless victory, as they say. Mag, are you? What are you into jerky? Pew! There was no strategies there. I beat him fair and square. It was a little rough, though. <laughs> it was just a little rough around the edges. My stuff's all damaged. Okay. So that was one roller pulley down, but I'm gonna need a whole bunch more of those, obviously, if we're gonna get some decent armor out of them. Uh, we'll head up onto the bike here, onto the porch. That'll get me access to black ants and also those dust mite little guys. So we can get some better arrows. Yeah, fair, totally. <laughs> I beat him fair and square, first attempt. Zero deaths. You all saw. Flawless victory. Oh, there's lots of ants up here. Oh! Oh, if you get a headshot on him, that's like one... One shot kill, baby. That's easy. Okay, so I should have enough to fix my shield now. Just enough. Can I get rust now? No, I don't have the right hammer for it. Um, you gotta get the, I think it's the ox hammer to to get the, uh, the rust. I need the, these parts to actually fix my sword, if I remember correctly. Bent ant. Ow. Stamina. God dang. Took a long time for it to recharge that time. Higher critical hits go for the beady little eyes. Yeah, well, I got the little ones, I got them all right, but. The mean, mean guys, I guess not so much. Down. A good stock of ant parts, at least. time. Oh. 
Back up, bro. Stamina. Ah, you jerk. All right. What a nuisance. God, there's so many of them up here. Look at that mite fuzz now. Um, all right, ammo. Oh, he hit me. Oh, crap. Give me this. Oh, jeez. Little jerks. i smoked by these little guys. Can't even see him. Oh crap. Have I peeked these things yet? There we go. a lot of damage, but they're sure a nuisance. Oh, actually that hurt. <laughs> I think right good. These look like ticks almost. God. So many of these guys. I don't have that purple square there. <laughs> Get rid of that. How do, I how do I remove that? There we go. It's funny how strong they made the dust mite. Well, they're just very tough. Like, they don't do a lot of damage for the most part. Let's see. I mean, if they get a good hit on you, it will, but... Um, they don't do like a crazy amount of damage or anything, but they, they sure take a lot of damage. I guess just based on where they chose to add them into the game in terms of like an equipment tier, it kind of had to make them tougher, but... There we go. Not that bad, they're just kind of a nuisance. I guess while I'm up here, I might as well get some more lint too. Uh, six, four. I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point for something.
That takes a lot of jabs. <laughs> I should probably check their weakness. Maybe they're weak to slashing or something. Chopping. Data! Dust mites! Um, that's the roly poly. Those are neutrals. Where's the dust mites at? Dust mite. Weakness, stabbing, and fresh. Okay. Oh, they're resistant to salty, so that's why my spear's not doing a ton to them. I have salty on my spear. Back off, Ant. It's my stuff. Oh, crap. Aw, oh, jeez, come on. I can't even move. Where'd that ant go? Oh, sharpshooter, level three. Nice. Actually, I should probably turn that on. <laughs> now that I think of it. Uh, I don't need this. We'll turn on sharpshooter, wherever that is. Where's Sharpshooter? Blade Master. Javelin here. Chopper. There it is. There's any more mites up here. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, it's a little dark. I guess uh, I should have come up here when it's a little closer to daytime. <laughs> One behind me. Ah, screw that shot up. Yeah, it's smoking me. Good times. Uh, get this. Uh, 
Let's get out of here. So that got me a grand total of uh, 20 of the dust mite fuzz, at least. So I can make a bunch of arrows anyway. Did you hear me not when you were... No. <laughs> I did not die in the bathroom. Sorry. Let's get out of here. Before they call me any more reinforcements on me. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I probably should go up the chair to the ashtray there. Let's see if we can get our hands on some of the uh, some of the toenails. Because who doesn't like some old guy's crusty toenails in an ashtray? Mmm, delish. Need a tuft? Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to get a tuft. Ah, crap. That could present a problem. I don't think I can get it without a tuft, actually. Alright, we'll go home. Come back in the toenails another time. Where does the food go? Well, when I eat it, it mostly just falls on the ground, I think. Because <laughs> he, exa he doesn't exactly have a stomach, you know? Somehow he's just, like, tasting it or something and then letting it go away. good oh god that hurt <laughs> well so much for that let's make it daytime <laughs> good grief I gotta go get my bag now though it's got all the stuff I collected safely got that far down only to walk straight into the uh Ladybird larva. One of them would have been okay, but two of them was a bit of a nuisance. Oh, I see why. I wasn't as far over as I thought. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, God, I'm dead again. Oh, God. Ah, smoked. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, without the blocks, it's just not gonna work. If I can't block him, I'm screwed. Nate killed me. How did Nate kill me? He's not a ladybird larva. That I'm aware of. 2011, gotta call it a night. Alright, have a good night, Ashley. See if we can steer around these guys this time and get my stuff. Oh, no, they're right there. That's what you 
get. Blocking is important. Jerks. All right, let's get out of here before something else eats me alive. Ah. Ah, come on. Nope. <laughs> Gotta be an easier way to get up here than this. Parkour! Ugh. Really? Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Not like this. It's like a little bump in the uh, branch there that makes me fall off. Oops. See, problem, you have no meat on those bones. Well, you'd think it'd be like less of an appealing appetizer for the bugs, given that I don't really look all that juicy and tasty apparently uh, they don't agree for reasons unbeknownst to me oh wait I don't have a tough do I but lint so much lint I guess the easiest approach will be just to drop in the water again When are Nate and I going to play games together? I don't know. We just kind of like, when we find something we want to play, we just sort of play it. He gets busy with uh, the mods on his stream and stuff too, though. So it's sort of like a function of like mixing in uh, available times and then available games and such. Alright, I need this stuff so I can fix my armor. You saw that stuff wrecked me a bit. <laughs> they don't want to me, they really don't like me. <laughs> like, we don't like you. He doesn't like you either. All right. Fuzz analyzed. Fluffy pupa hat, stuffed dust mite, dust mite mount. Get me out of here. Let's get out of here. Hopefully I can make a good chunk of arrows with the, uh, the splinters. Here's how I killed every dust mite up there. What's the good word, game? Fluffy pupa hat. Overly really comfy hat, crafted of pupa leather. Oh, that increases hauling strength. Interesting. I wonder by how much. Splinter arrows, nice. I can make like a bunch of them. I like 30 anyway, that's good. Okay, so splinter arrows, 30, 17 of these ones, and I'll put the 21 crappy arrows back in there. Uh, whoop. All that stuff away. I thought I had gunk here somewhere already. I guess I must have used it. Alright, everything else is good. Sweet. Ah, well, we're rolling up on midnight my time, so I think I'm going to call a wrap for tonight. But uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, tomorrow night, the uh, the game Survival Fountain of Youth comes out in early access. It's available on Steam. We'll be playing that tomorrow night. Uh, the developers provided a code for us to play that, so we'll be checking that out again tomorrow, continuing the gameplay we started on the weekend. Uh, Thursday night, I'm planning to play some Small Land, and then on Friday night, or Friday anyway, is when uh, Dead Island 2 comes out. So we'll be playing that Friday night and Saturday night. And then uh, possibly Sunday night as well, I guess, depending on the level of interest and how that's going. But uh, thanks so much, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.